Hello, we are here to have a demo of the commercial painting database from Database Solutions that works in Sage Estimating software. We are here to discuss and show the integration of that database with PlanSwift. I'm in PlanSwift for Sage, and when you're in PlanSwift, PlanSwift for Sage and you click on this line right here, it brings about these three windows that we have. I want to create a new estimate now to do a little bit of takeoff in here. This icon right here says we will create a new estimate. It brings over the estimate number from within PlanSwift, but we can change this uh, description if we wish. So I'm going to call this PS to estimating for painting. I will save this estimate name. And now it wants to know which database to use. We are using the commercial painting database right there. We click OK. And what is happening is the PlanSwift program is reaching out over to estimating. It's reaching into the painting database that we are showing here. And it is showing you the information from the painting database. We are seeing assemblies because the assembly icon is, is hit. But if I go into items, these change to the items. Notice that the icons are a little bit different. I go in and say, I would like to see the interior walls. These are the groups for the interior walls. These are the phases for the interior walls. And then um, the phases and the items at, once we're, on, we're underneath the groups. So we are looking at the commercial painting database items and assemblies from within side of PlanSwift. Now let's do a little takeoff. I would like to take off the exterior side of this block wall, the interior side of this block wall, this floor, and then these gypsum wallboard walls. It'll take us about five minutes to do this. I would like some exterior walls, so I open this up. I come down through the list of assemblies. We would like to have exterior masonry paint. I click on that icon. The quantity, how do we take off our walls? Is it length times width or square foot of area? I'm going to say it's the length times the height business. Um, what is our length? Now notice the icons here. These are PlanSwift icons. If I click the length icon, I now have the ability to come in and start into putting the length of the exterior wall that I would like to take off. When I'm all done, I hit escape and notice that this value is right here. What is my height? I know it's 12 foot. I click my down arrow key. What's the block filler? Now, if there are variable notes, they will appear down here. And I can say yes for block filler, a one equals yes. Number of finish coats. I would like two finish coats. Uh, excuse me, it says block filler method. I'm one ahead of myself. So we want to block filler by roller. Two finish coats with flat finish. The first one, I'm reading right through, right across here, I'm reading this down here. The coat one is going to be applied by roller, and the coat two will be applied by roller. Would I like man hours at some obstacles and stuff? I'm going to say no with zero. I hit plus. This takeoff has been done and accepted. I hit the check mark. The assembly has been accepted. I'm done with the exterior wall takeoff. I need to paint some interior uh, walls. I would first like to get the interior block walls, again with latex. The quantity again, the takeoff method, we'll do the length times the height again. The uh, length, I go back to the icon, and the takeoff this time will be a little bit different. Now, one thing that I have done is I, I previously set up the scale of this drawing. So you haven't seen me done that, do that, but it, it has been previously set up. That's how it knows how to do the takeoff. I hit escape, this quantity is right here. I give it the height, and then I go down through and I start answering my questions with inside of the assembly uh, that we have set up for the uh, commercial painting database. And I'll just answer my questions here. We want eggshell finish. We're going to apply this by the roller method. When this is uh, on the interior, I'm going to say we need an hour and a half for some setup and, and additional work like that. I hit my plus, which accepts a pass. I could go back and do additional passes if I would, would like to. I hit the check mark to accept that assembly. Now we're going to migrate downwards and do some floors. 
So I open up the floors and we would like to do some concrete floors and put, on, put down some concrete stain. I open up this assembly and I have quantity of one. What's my takeoff? It's gonna be area square foot. So I input a two. Here's the area square foot. I hit the square foot icon with inside of plan Swift. And now I'm identifying the square footage of this area. In this little drawing, we will be doing the entire thing. Notice how plan Swift is filling out the area. I hit escape and that is accepted. The takeoff value is right here. I continue to answer my questions and we're done. I hit my plus. It's important to hit the check mark to accept and that is done. I can keep closing out on the um, assemblies and open and close them as I like. I only have a few more, uh, a little bit more on these gypsum wallboard walls to take off. So I go into interior. We want some latex. Now I'm going to show a little trick. I'm going to put a two right here. And now I go down. Take off the walls is going to be a length times height. Our length. I'm going to hit this icon right here. And I'm going to come in and these are our walls. When I do a double click, it stops that takeoff, but I can continue on to do more. Every time I do a double click, it stops that takeoff. Now, I hit escape, that value is in here. The reason I put a two in here is all these walls are going to have paint on both sides. So the two, will, instead of painting one side, will tell me we're gonna paint both sides. I know my height here is nine foot because it's on the interior. We would like to have the primer by roller. There's going to be uh, two finished coats. We are going to put an eggshell and we will roll and roll again. And there's no man hour setup. I hit plus and I hit the check mark. I'm done for this little takeoff with inside of Plan Swift. Now I will open up estimating. Inside of estimating, I would like to do a file open and notice in my list, here is that estimate that we created over in Plan Swift. PS to estimating for painting. I open that up. And here's our estimate that has been created by the items that we took off inside of Plan Swift. If I look at this by assembly, you can see that here are the four assemblies that we took off the exterior walls, the interior walls, the floor, and then the interior interior gypsum wallboard walls, interior block walls. There's a separate video that shows all about how to use the commercial painting database inside of Sage Estimating. You can also look at that video. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you enjoy this product and consider it for your use. Thank you.